Hello, I'm Chris Found. I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer with Zscaler, and I'm here to talk to you about Zero Trust for Workloads. What I'm going to do is we're going to have a quick talk through some of the traditional connectivity methods that we see and some of the challenges when we think about connecting our physical locations, things like data centers, HQs, branch offices together, as well as up to infrastructure as a service where we're using uh, more of a cloud first um, methodology in organizations. So when we think about the connectivity between these different physical locations, we would usually have something like an SD-WAN or an MPLS route and traditionally they would have gone back to the data center. We would have some form of express route from there up to our IaaS. And if we are connecting to items within the cloud from our branch, we would be going over that SD-WAN and back up. But obviously, we need to know where that traffic is going. So we, we get into routing. We have challenges around the fact we're tromboning back, then go up to the cloud. We have the ability with SD-WAN to start thinking about how we can go between branch to HQ and specific locations and so on. All of this requires to have uh, complicated routing tables in place so that we understand where those destinations are in our organization and where we want that traffic to go and be passed on to. So there's a lot of technical debt in maintaining environments like this. On top of all of this, we would obviously need local services, things like DNS, DHCP, that are going to tell us or resolve basically those, those fully qualified names to, to the IP addresses we want to go to, that are going to manage the allocation of IP addresses dynamically as things are joined to the network. So we need to understand how all of this is going to fit together and incorporate this. So what I'm going to do is just remove this and we'll talk about how we can achieve that with the Zero Trust Exchange, the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange, um, and how we can um, bring all of this together in a much simplified way. Okay. So when we add the, uh, the Zero Trust Exchange in, We already have app connectors on our Zscaler deployment that will be in place within our data centers and our infrastructure as a service that are going to make that outbound connection to the ZTE. Now this is uh, brokering for traffic that generally speaking to this point would have been from our users. So the idea being that uh, traffic comes up to the Zero Trust Exchange, and we then broker that together down through this tunnel and then onto the individual applications and the individual locations. So from a client connector perspective, really easy to, to, to spin up and uh, to manage that access. When we think about providing an on-ramp for that private application access, what we're doing really is we're going to add a connector into the infrastructure as a cloud called a cloud connector. That cloud connector again, outbound to our cloud. The idea here being that we can now on-ramp anything within our IaaS environment to the ZTE and then come out into the data center, for example. This is a lot of benefit over a more complicated routing method because everything's brokered by the ZTE. All I need to do is get the traffic to the connector and across, at which point we will figure out where it's going to, if it's allowed to, et cetera, based on the, the application segments, et cetera, within our environment. When we think about doing this as a virtualized machine, it's very easy to spin up. And we can have our branch connector, which is sort of our non-cloud native version. And again, we then have that bi-directional capability. 
in locations where we don't have virtualization, so let's say a small branch office, for example, we do have um, a hardware version. So a box that you can deploy into the rack that again will make that outbound tunnel to the Zero Trust Exchange. And again, will actually also host the app connector. So in one box that you deploy, we have enabled bi-directional capability for that branch up to cloud, over to data center, or back in. So if we think about use cases like um, printing, where we've got a print server in the cloud, printer locally, we can have that traffic from the user up to the server, then down to the printer without the requirement for end-to-end -end routing, without the requirement for end-to-end -end network connectivity. Very, very simple. Perhaps we have a requirement where that printer's, uh, maybe it's multifunction. So we want to scan back up to a file share that's within the, uh, within the data center, a file server. So again, we can go through, the ZTE knows the traffic's coming from a printer, knows the, the originating space, knows exactly where it is and isn't allowed to go and can then focus on where that traffic's off to. And again, I don't need to join this on to my SD-WAN, don't need to join the branch on to my MPLS environment. All of this can be done natively. So if I spin up a new office, put in a ZT600 and I have bi-directional capability in and out. And again, we have bigger and beefier machines for larger offices, which again come with those app connectors on. So if you'd like to learn more about the way that we can simplify the unmanaged device connectivity from OT, IoT, etc. across your network, please get in touch. Thanks very much.